everyone, welcome to this video where today I'd like to show you three different ways a business can use quick replies to save them time and effort. If you haven't heard of an Instagram quick reply, basically Instagram has created a way so that you can send a quick shortcut to somebody and give a ton of information without you having to type it out every single time. And I'm going to show you three ways a business can use this feature to really save them time and effort. So the first thing that we are going to do is go into our DMs here and we can see that we have a message from somebody that says, hey there, my order wasn't quite what expected. I am buying it as a gift, can you help? Thanks. So it might be your first instinct to go ahead and type out a lengthy reply, giving them your return policy and all that kind of stuff. But what our first tip is, is creating a quick reply to tell them about your returns policy. So in order to set up a quick reply, we're going to hit the plus button there next to our message. And this uh, speech bubble here with the three dots in it is going to be our saved replies. So in order to set up a new one, you can either press new saved reply down the bottom in blue or the plus button on the top right hand side. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is give yourself a shortcut because if you have quite a few of these, you want to make sure it's labeled correctly so that it really does actually save you time here. So you want to make sure this is labeled best for you. So I'm going to have this as returns and now I'm going to type out the copy paste message that I want to send to everybody. So here's what my first one is going to be. So once you do have a saved reply, you'll see that it's got the small shortcut word at the top. It says returns at the top and we have typed out our main message. So now whenever, whenever this account gets an email here that says that they're looking to return a product, you don't have to type out your return policy. You simply press the plus, the speech bubble, and you can go ahead and tap your reply right there and you'll see it's all been typed out for you. And then and you don't have to worry about typing every little thing out. So that is the first utilization of this quick reply tool. The second way to utilize the quick replies that's really going to save you time is by adding your opening hours or what time of day that you are around to respond if that's your kind of business as well. So let me show you how to add that. We're gonna press the plus button here, go into our saved replies and add a brand new one. And I'm gonna call this one hours and then we're going to type out our long response here. Once you're done, you can hit save and it will save you a ton of time with people asking what kind of time you are opening from. So we have hours here, which is going to paste in our opening and closing hours. And it says here, we're open Monday to Friday and Saturday to Sunday, we hope to see you stop by. So that is the second way that a company can utilize a quick response. And the last way that a business can utilize this quick reply is by having your ordering information show up here. So this person has asked, how can I order? I've gone ahead and filled this out in advance. You can see it there in the middle called order and I'm giving them information on how they can actually put an order in because that is something that people often want to know. You can send them directly to a link here on a website or you can guide them straight to your link in your bio if you'd prefer to do it that way, but you can actually put a full link here in your quick replies. So make sure you're utilizing these three ways of using the quick replies. And I hope this video was super helpful for you and your page.